Hey everyone, U.S. immigration lawyer Michael Ashuri here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to check how long your E-2 visa will be valid for. So if you're interested in pursuing an E-2 investor visa, this is definitely a video that you want to stick around for, so make sure to watch until the end. Hey everyone, my name is Michael Ashuri and I'm a U.S. immigration lawyer based in Los Angeles, California. At my law firm, we regularly post videos to keep you up to date with the latest immigration news and to provide you with helpful immigration tips. So if you haven't yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button now. So as I mentioned in today's video, I'm going to show you how to check how long your E-2 visa will be valid for. This may come as a surprise to you, but not all E-2 visas are valid for the same length of time and not all E-2 visas have the same terms regarding your ability to enter and exit the country. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about that. I'm gonna go over some helpful tips that you should know about. Um, but as a quick overview, I wanna just briefly talk about the E-2 visa. The E-2 visa is an investor visa. It's a non-immigrant visa, so it allows somebody to invest in a U.S. business. They can either start a brand new business or they can invest in an existing business. And based on making an investment, the person can live in the United States and they can operate their business. The E-2 visa can be a wonderful option for entrepreneurs, investors, people looking to grow their business in the United States and to pursue the American dream. It's truly a wonderful option. Now, the E-2 visa is only available to citizens of certain countries that have an E-2 treaty with the United States. There's many countries that have E-2 treaties with the United States, like Canada, Germany, France, and there's many countries. But there are also certain major countries that do not have an E-2 treaty with the United States, like China, Brazil, and Russia. So the first step when deciding to pursue an E-2 visa, of course, you have to be from a country that has an E-2 treaty with the U.S., unless you're planning on getting citizenship to a country that has an E-2 treaty with the U.S., which is a topic for another video. So what I want to explain in today's video is that E-2 visas can be different for citizens of different countries. And what can vary from country to country is the length of the visa and the number of entries that are authorized on the particular visa. And again, this is depending on the applicant's country of citizenship. Now, let me give you a practical example. If somebody is a citizen of Canada and they're going to apply for an E-2 visa, they are eligible to receive an E-2 visa with a validity period of 60 months. That's five years. In addition, the visa that's issued to Canadians that are applying for an E-2 visa is a multiple entry visa, meaning that that person can exit and enter multiple times. So again, the example that I just listed is for a citizen of Canada that's applying for an E-2 visa. However, a citizen of another country, for example, a citizen of Jordan, is issued an E-2 visa for a maximum period of three months. And that E-2 visa from Jordan only allows a single entry. So what this means practically is that a citizen of Jordan that's applying for an E-2 visa gets a visa that's authorized for a maximum of three months, meaning that they have three months to enter the United States with that visa. And that visa only authorizes one entry to the United States. So once they enter, if they leave after that, they can no longer use that same visa to re-enter the United States. So as you can see, this is so important because depending on your country of citizenship, it will determine extremely important details about your E-2 visa. So now that we've discussed that, I wanna show you how you can check how long your E-2 visa can potentially be valid for. So take a look at my screen and we'll go through it together. Okay, everybody, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when checking the terms of your E-2 visa or what type of an E-2 visa you'll, you're eligible for, the first thing that I want you to do is you're gonna go to Google and you're gonna type visa reciprocity. As you can see right here, all you're gonna do is just type visa reciprocity. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the first result that comes up and it should be travel.state.gov and it says US visa reciprocity and civil documents by country. So you click that link. Now, 
you're going to be taken to this page over here and what you're going to see is that there's a list of letters and the letter that you click on is going to show you the countries that have their first letter starting with that letter. So right now it's automatically selected on A. So you're going to see Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, etc. So I want to show you an example of how a Canadian can check the terms of a potential E2 visa that they'd be eligible for. So we're going to go, right now it's selected on A. So for Canada, we're going to select C. So we clicked C, and as you can see here, there's a list of several countries that start with C listed in alphabetical order. So right here we see Canada. So I'm going to click Canada. So now we're on the Canada reciprocity schedule. So you're going to scroll down, and now you're going to have visa classifications. So there's visas that start with A, B, C, D, E, etc. So for our example, we want to search the E2. So of course we're going to click on E. So you're going to click E, and now you're going to have the E1, and then the E2, and the E2C, and for us we're going to just check the E2. So now you're going to scroll along, and it's going to show you the fee, it's going to show you the number of entries, and the validity period. So as you can see here, for Canada, the validity period is 60 months, or 5 years. And the number of entries is multiple. So again, the validity period is generally how long the visa is valid for. So, you know, when you get the visa stamped in your passport, how long will the, that visa be valid for? And again, right here we're seeing that for Canada, it's 60 months. And the number of entries is multiple. So now we've gone over Canada. Now let's go over our other example that we talked about earlier, which was Jordan. So now I'm just going to go back. And as you can see here, we're back to that table of letters. And for Jordan, we're going to go to J. So you click J, and then you find Jordan. Click Jordan. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to go to the E for E2. And as you can see here, we go to E2, and we see here, the, under the fee, it shows none. And then for the number of entries, it shows one. That means it's a single entry visa. And for the validity period, as you can see here, as we discussed earlier, it's valid for three months. So as you can see, there's a major difference between the type of an E2 visa that someone is eligible for if they have a Jordanian passport versus if they have a Canadian passport. Now, just to illustrate the point, we'll, we'll check a couple of other countries. So let's go back and we'll click G and we'll look at Germany. Go to the E2 section and as you can see here, number of entries is multiple and validity period is 60 months. So Germany also has uh, a 60 month visa, which is generally for E2, the longest validity period that you can get. And uh, we'll check one more country. Let's check France. So we're here, we're gonna go to F, then we're gonna go to France, and we'll go to E. As you can see here, E2, um, the fee, there's, it says none, and then number of entries multiple, validity period, 25 months. So again, you can see here why it's so important to check this. So thanks for sticking with me as we went through that demonstration. As you can see, it's very important to check the, res the visa reciprocity based on your country of citizenship. And so in the description of this video, I'm going to include a link to that web page. I hope you found this video very useful. I hope you found this information helpful. If you know anybody that can benefit from this information, please feel free to share this video with them. We're all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can watch this video that can benefit from this information, the better. As always, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.